Hi everyone! Today I created this look and to do it I started out with my LA Girl BB Cream and this brand new pink beauty blender I got. So I just dotted my BB Cream all over my face and then I started using my new beauty blender to blend it out on my face. But this one wasn't as soft as my other one so I didn't really like using it, it didn't work as well as my other one so I kind of just ended up smoothing everything out with my fingers. For concealer, I used the Stick Concealer by Essence and I drew a triangle underneath both my eyes and I drew some lines between my eyebrows, on my nose and around my mouth and then I used the beauty blender again to blend it out to just try it out but I used my fingers to smooth it out again afterwards. For today I'm using an eyeshadow base for the first time and to be honest I can't say I really notice a difference not that I ever had a problem with my eyeshadow staying on but I kind of like doing it so I'm probably going to do it again and then to set that I use this beautiful nude color from my Carly Bible palette and I applied it all over my eyelids and I also dragged it around underneath my eyes because it just has such a great coverage and it just brightens up the whole area so much so I love using it for that now next I use my LA Girl Pro palette and I used this shimmery purple color but it wasn't quite what I was going for so I ended up going for this shimmery pink color in my Beauty Treats palette and I used my setting spray to help pick it up and then press, press it on all over my eyelids. Next I picked up these two dark brown colors and I tapped my brush off before working them into my crease. I just want there to be a little bit of shade, nothing too intense because I'm going to go in with darker colors a little bit later. So I'm just going to make sure that's blended out well and then next I'm going to pick up another color from my Carly Bible palette. I'm using this pretty shimmery brown color and again I'm using my setting spray to pick it up to just get it really pigmented and then I worked it on my lid right underneath my crease. The idea behind this was to get it as deep of a definition in my crease as I can to make my eyes pop more without it looking too dramatic. So that's the idea, but because I used setting spray to pick up the eyeshadow, I had to wait for it to dry. So in the meantime, I applied my blush and I used this Lux Nude Temptress Lip Liner to just color in my lips. I wanted something a little lighter though, so I used this LA Girl lipstick in the color Ooh La La and then I also applied the Lace Details lipsticks from NYX, the one in the color Lace Detail and I applied it on my lips and dabbed it on and then I was happy with the color. Back to the eyeshadow that was finally dry, I used my favorite flat yet fluffy Zaiva brush and I used it to blend out the edges because if you apply it with setting spray it kind of creates harsh edges so it was a little bit of work to blend that out but the end result was definitely worth it. I just picked up a bit more of dark brown and I worked it right onto my crease to make sure there was definitely a contrast there. And yes, I'm sticking my nails into the screen, but at least I did them recently, so they're nothing to be ashamed about. I dragged the same dark color around on my lower lash line, and the shimmery pink color of my lid I applied on the inner half of my lower lash line, just to make it match with what I did in the top. Next, I picked up three random shimmer colors from my Carly Bible palette, and I applied them all over my eyelids, just to give the pink an extra pop. And I picked up more of that shimmery brown to just give the crease more of an extra pop. Onto eyeliner, I'm using this liquid eyeliner by The Body Shop even though it's starting to go dry and I'm just drawing on a small wing and I had to climb deep into my mirror to get that done today but since it was a daytime look I didn't want anything too dramatic and I feel this look just called from some waterline eyeliner, I feel the black there just really rounded it off. Finally onto my lashes, I'm curling them the way I have been doing recently because I really like the way it looks and I'm just applying my Ordinary Catrice mascara to my lashes and I'm also applying some to my lower lashes because I just don't feel complete without it. For my eyebrows, I'm just brushing them out, I didn't feel like filling them in so I just did that and then I picked up the shimmery pink highlighter from my Carly Bible palette and I worked it in my tear ducts, on my lips, on my nose and underneath my eyebrows. I'm going to set my face with my LA Girl Pro Translucent Setting Powder to prevent any shininess and to prevent any of my makeup rubbing off or anything like that from happening. And then to help it stay all day long, I'm going to spray this LA Girl Setting Spray, but here I noticed my camera angle is wrong, so sorry, I just fixed it there. And then I'm just spraying my face all over and giving it a moment to dry to make sure everything is perfect. Now onto my hair, I curled it recently, so that's that messy bunch of a ponytail you're seeing right there. 
and I didn't get to wash my hair last night because I got home a lot later than I expected to so I don't want to wear my hair down because it's not as clean as I want it but it's still curly so I decided to put it up in two ponytails and I thought it was really appropriate because number one I felt my makeup was super cute and I felt it was totally going to match the blue denim dress I'm going to wear so I decided to make ponytails even if it makes me look like a five year old I really liked it and then next I just applied these blue gem earrings my mom gave me quite a while ago so I'm just popping them on and then I got dressed. When I sat down again I looked a little pale so I added a bit more pinkish reddish blush and then that is the final result. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.